As a beginner, investing is a minefield. We have all been a beginner at some stage on our investing journey. You probably don't have an investing strategy and you're probably just about to start investing based on something that somebody on YouTube has told you to buy or something that a friend or family has recommended. But before you make some of these mistakes that I myself have made, I want to pass those on to you so that you don't go down that same path and have some costly mistakes taken place. Hi, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I am Mark of Desperately Seeking Fi. There are some very costly mistakes when using the Vanguard platform and I'm going to do four and I might chuck in a bonus which might make it up to five. The first one is looking at buying exchange traded funds. What is the better way of doing it? Looking at fractional shares. What does that mean? Looking at should you just lump all your money in or should we look at some form of pound cost averaging and then looking at diversification. I'll also chuck in the bonus which which will look at how could you save yourself some money and therefore be better off in the long run. When you are buying an ETF or a mutual fund, you can either go for next available price or you can do a live price. What does this really mean? If you place an order, they will purchase ETFs twice a day. So they just batch them up and buy them. If you choose to do this, you cannot lock yourself into a certain price and it will literally be whatever the price is at the time of purchase. If you're buying into a mutual fund, it may take two to three days and you might see some form of price change. Reality is you are investing for the long run. There is no need to go for a live price buy at a certain price on this website. If you want to do that, it's going to cost you seven pounds. And this really does hit your bottom line if you are investing small amounts of money into the platform. If you were investing say £100 into an ETF like the Vanguard S&P 500 VUSA, you would end up paying 7.5% of your costs would go to buying that ETF. That is just killing you. If you think about it, how much may you actually gain in a year for USAs in around 8 to 10% growth per year. So you would be losing all potential growth. It's just not worth hitting the button and buying at live price. I've done it in the past and really have regretted it. Next, we'll talk about fractional share. On the Vanguard website, you, unlike all of these new platforms that exist, Trading212, Free Trade and Invest Engine, you cannot buy a fractional share. And what does that mean? That basically means you can only buy a single share. And if we look at VWRL, the cost to buy one share is, as of today, 85.74. So you would need that amount of money to purchase that. There is also, remember what we said previously on the live price versus the just place your order and let it fill during the day or the next available time frame. that price might go up. If you were putting in £200, you would get two shares of that. But let's say it went on a complete rip and was at £105, you would only get one share of VWRL purchased for in your £200 and the £95 would go back into your account. It is an issue with this and I've seen that and been sat with money left on the side because I haven't actually purchased enough. If you're buying into an index fund, you can actually buy fractional shares. So there is the life strategy on the Vanguard platform, and I've done a video on that. Have a look at that one. But you are able to buy fractional shares of an index fund on an ETF. You can't. And you just need to have a look because it may be that you have just under the amount that you need to buy a full share. Certainly, this is one of the more expensive ones. There are some that are cheaper coming in at 33 30 to 33 pounds, things like the UKE, the FTSE 100. But it's just something to bear in mind. You want to ensure that you invest as much as you can. Diversification is another thing that we actually need to look at as well. And what is quite good about Vanguard is you can go into the Insights tab on the investment side of things and you can see whereabouts you have actually invested your money across the world. What we don't want is all of our eggs in one basket and say have 
100% invested into the S&P 500. And that basically has you almost 100% weighted into the USA. What you want to do is have that broad diversification so that if something goes wrong in certain parts of the world, at least you are slightly covered and buffered from those issues. You'll also then be able to say what your top 10 investments are and also your sector allocation. I think I've also learned from previous issues of putting one lump sum into an investment. Some people will say you should just invest, bang, stick in a lump sum and then just leave it. I would rather actually pound cost average in. I would be looking at making a payment every month and be that £250, it just goes in like clockwork the whole way through. And that allows me to then just smooth out the dips and troughs that there are all the time within the stock market. What I will also do, I'll give you a quick bonus, it costs 0.5% to use the Vanguard trading platform. So that is basically an annual fee that you get charged and that just constantly keeps getting taken away and working off the value that you are getting from your investments. And I recommend that one, you have it in a stocks and shares ISA so that it is protected for capital gains and any dividends that you receive, they are tax free. I've done a video on that if you want to have a quick look, but also you could choose a different type of platform. And the two platforms I'm going to throw in is suggestions for a beginner. I really do like Invest Engine. It was my last year's ISA provider. I find it really simple to use. If you decide to do the DIY side of things, there are no platform fees. Other option is trading 212. And once again, there are no trading fees and there are no platform fees here. And I recommend that you take out an ISO with one of those two providers. I have links down below which take you off and you get uh, some free money or a free share for signing up using my links. There are ways that you will potentially make mistakes that will cost you money and could potentially cost you quite a lot of money. But there are a couple of simple ways of doing it. Hopefully that is of use. Why don't you have a quick look at this video that will give you some ideas of what kind of interested funds you could go and have a look at investing. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.